Welcome to Community Health Matters. I'm your host, Amy Marsalis. On today's show, we'll learn about access to health care, hospice care, and net cancers. All of that coming up next on Community Health Matters. Network, this is Community Health Matters, sponsored by the United Health Foundation. Yvette Doran is my first guest on the show today with St. Thomas Health Partners. So glad you could come in today. Thank you. So happy to be here, Amy. Thanks for asking. Absolutely. I know that St. Thomas is growing leaps and bounds, serving this explosive growth in population in Middle Tennessee that I've, I've noticed myself all mm -hmm. of these new places popping up around town. Tell us about your role in sort of redefining this experience for patients in Middle Tennessee, I know that um, you have sort of helped establish this service standard for care with so many new people moving here. Absolutely. You know, it's it's a multifaceted plan that we're actually blessed to be able to roll out at this point. Nashville, as you said, is experiencing a huge population boom. And with that, we have an opportunity to care for more Middle Tennesseans. Just a little bit of history about St. Thomas Medical Partners. We have 102 locations today. Uh, we have four wow. more scheduled to open this calendar year. And within those 102 locations, we actually have 39 different specialties in addition to primary care. So we've addressed the comprehensive total needs of the patient and how to care for the total health of the patient by adding a full complement of those specialists that are needed. You know, you start with primary care as a gatekeeper and then you move on to whatever you as an individual um, may need from a specialist specialty perspective. You had to do a lot of research to get to this point to identify, look at your numbers at, at the population who's moving here and as the population here ages, mm -hmm. what the needs are. Tell us a little bit about that process to get to this point. Well, it's been, you are correct, Amy, it is definitely a process and it has been a multi-year process. Uh, we started this journey a little more than three years ago and it began with an assessment. It began with the current population and the projected population mm -hmm. and really where that growth would would be. What communities would those new residents of Middle Tennessee actually reside in? And then we took it a step further and we said whether we have a footprint in that area today or not, what is the disease burden or the expected disease burden, meaning the most common or frequent diagnoses of the residents who live in those communities? You know, as we have, I, I mentioned the 39 specialties, but knowing that primary care is the gatekeeper to all health care and really is the captain of the healthcare ship for each individual patient. We had to look at how to balance that. And so the, the new sites that you mentioned mm -hmm. that we're adding are actually the primary care concentration. Now those are called community care centers. So in a care center, we have primary care in addition to specialties that will be housed under the same roof, embedded in the communities where those patients live mm -hmm. or where the growth is occurring. And so that way the patient can go to their comfort um, and, and have the access for the, the care that they need from primary care or specialties within their community. So in other words, they don't have to travel. Let's say they're out in the Cool Springs area, mm -hmm. Franklin area. They don't have to drive downtown Nashville or to the west side of Nashville. Absolutely. So the growing primary care, two of them are in, um, well, one is technically Davidson County, but two are, you know, in the Williamson Davidson County, Cool Spring, Cool Springs area. We just opened a new location in December uh, on the corner of Aspen Grove and Cool Springs. Mm -hmm. And then we have one right off of the Old Hickory Boulevard in Brentwood. Is there a concern in how you reach those who need health care? Um, uh, obviously, I know you've done your research on that, mm -hmm. uh, you know, as you said, over a number of years, but there probably has been a concern that so many people cannot access care due mm -hmm. to multiple reasons, what transportation, right. education, 
absolutely. You know, when you look at the, the changing complexion of health care, it is changing so rapidly that you have to not only keep up with what happened in the past, but really the new expectations, the consumerism of health care and what those expectations are from a patient's perspective. And so part of that is how do you reach them? How do you deliver that access? And we've done that at St. Thomas through a couple of means. We've really utilized our ability to access online options, online scheduling, so that as a patient, I mean, we're all busy in our mm -hmm. daily lives, so you want care in an area that's close to you. You need it when you need it. And so removing barriers with an online scheduling platform uh, was a first step into that consumerism component that's now part of patients. It's almost like care on demand, isn't it? It, it <laughs> is. And we actually have care on demand at St. Oh, Thomas. You, do. you don't even have to leave your home. Um, I think part of that, though, is understanding what location, what is the, the acuity level, or what's the need? Is it a simple sniff? case or is it something more severe so could you from the convenience of your own couch could you have care in your own home or in your office do you need a walk-in location do you need a scheduled appointment for something a little more in-depth or do you need a high acuity specialist you know to address certain needs if you've been given a diagnosis that needs further care so these community centers if you will a lot of them would they have a lot of the same specialists in, in each one or would they have various specialists depending mm -hmm. on the demographics of that neighborhood? It, they would absolutely have differing specialty mixes based on the demographics and the disease burden, if you will, the needs of that community. Some may be more prevalent in diabetes, some may have higher cardiology needs, okay. so, you know, so we try to match that as best we can with the needs of the patient. All right, as far as um, the telemedicine piece of this because I had interviewed a specialist from mm -hmm. St. Thomas about that and mm -hmm. how you're doing a lot of the you know via Skype or, mm -hmm. or FaceTime for some illnesses is that part of the care as well it's projected to be a future part of a the care part of it. as far as the care centers now we already have the St. Thomas on demand yes. which is you know for for easy um, diagnoses or what we call acute care at home um, but I think as we move into the changing complexion as I meant, mentioned earlier you know when the payers the actual insurance carriers um, help direct some of that, meaning the um, authorization, maybe the reimbursement, mm -hmm. as some of those things better align, then telehealth will take on a whole new presence. St. Thomas is prepared. All of our new care centers are already hardwired and ready to go when, when that lever is um, flipped by the industry. All right. Do you have any advice on helping to guide consumers um, how to access the care and to cho choosing the care that's really best suited for them? Absolutely. Uh, healthcare is personal. Mm, you know, you need to have a great mm. chemistry with your clinician, whether it's a physician or an advanced practitioner, whether it's for something very simple or something more severe. So I would first say that you need to feel comfortable with your clinician. Um, if you've never met them before, you can go on to, at least on our website, stthomasdoctors.com, you can actually search our physicians and practitioners, look at their bio, understand where they went to school, what some of their you know, specialty services are, see where they're located, what their hours are, and even schedule your appointment with Primary Care Today online. All right. A lot of helpful information. Yvette Doran. Yes. Thank you so much with St. Thomas Health Partners. Really appreciate this explanation. Thank you for having us. What you're doing us. in this community. Thank you. Our pleasure. Thank right. you. And we'll be right back with more after this.